So in this video, we are going to talk about the top 5 programming languages to learn to get a job in 2021. Now I've talked about this before and I usually suggest that don't go after programming languages. But then there's also this decision of you know, why would you start learning a dead end language or which is not gaining popularity when there's a choice to learn another. So uh, it's a difficult uh, question but I can only give you the information that you need to make that decision and here I am with that. So the number 5 programming language to learn in 2021 is C Sharp. C Sharp was developed by Microsoft and it is used for enterprise software development, cloud services and game development as well. It is very versatile and used pretty much everywhere where software is built. Now one metric that helps us choose which programming language is better or popular is the number of job postings on job websites. So if you look at Indeed, then there were 26,000 job openings for C-sharp developers in January 2020 and in the same month there were 19,000 openings for C-sharp developers on Simply Hired. That's a staggering 9.3% of all software job openings on Indeed. That's a huge number. If you look at the curve of the percentage of job postings that are taken by C-sharp developers in different job websites, then you will see that the curve has remained stable and it is going to remain stable for the next few years as well. The reason why C-sharp is so popular is because it's stable. It's built by Microsoft. The decisions related to you know, the big things about where the programming language is going are done by a single company. Of course, there are other contributors as well, but this makes C Sharp very stable. There are not five frameworks to do the same thing, or there are no seven libraries that pretty much do the same thing. So there's this coherence of effort, and that is why uh, a lot of, uh, you know, there's very much clarity. For example, if you want to build games in C Sharp, there's Unity. If you want to build enterprise software, there's .NET. So there's a lot of clarity around what needs to be used to build something using C Sharp. And that's probably one of the reasons why it is considered one of the most stable programming languages out there and it is very popular. The next language in the list is C++. C++ is an extension of the C programming language with support for object oriented programming and also support for a lot of control over hardware. It is very easy to learn and it is still very popular. In fact, if you look at the openings on January 2020, on Indeed, there were more than 35,000 job openings for C++ developers. On Simply Hired, this number was above 23,000. According to Glassdoor, the average salary of a C++ developer is $60,000 and according to Indeed, this number is closer to $91,000. 10.7% of all job postings on Indeed related to software development were for C++ developers in 2019. And just like C Sharp, this curve has remained stable for the last five years, so C++ still is out there. Now one of the biggest reasons for C++'s popularity is because uh, you know you can interact with a lot of hardware using it, it is very popular with games, it is very popular in a lot of uh, you know applications that require low level control over memory. For instance, browsers, most of the browsers that you use are made in C++. A lot of code that needs to be really performant needs to be written in C++. In fact, even so many enterprise applications are written in C++. The next language on the list is JavaScript. JavaScript was uh, initially used for web development on the browser, but now it is also used for server side apps and also for mobile app development. So it is growing in its use. If you look at the number of job postings on Glassdoor in January 2020, there were 46,000 openings for JavaScript developers there. Similarly, this number was 51,000 plus for Indeed and almost 38,000 for Simply Hired. According to Glassdoor, a JavaScript developer makes almost $80,000 a year and according to Indeed, that number is closer to $100,000. So if you look at the numbers, 14.5% of all software jobs on Indeed were for JavaScript developers. Now JavaScript is popular because of its versatility. It was already being used in web development before. Now with Node.js, it can also be used to write server-side apps. With Electron, you can also build desktop apps. And with technologies like Ionic, PhoneGap, and React Native, you can also start building mobile apps using JavaScript. Now if you look at the percentage of job postings for JavaScript in the last five years, then you will see that this also has remained stable. There is a lot of demand for JavaScript. Now this is where I will go a, a bit away from the curve because uh, these curves can, can be, you know, these are for uh, openings in the US. Now if you, um, from my personal experience uh, in the developing world, 
JavaScript is gaining a lot of popularity and I feel that it is one of the programming languages that is growing the fastest today. The next language on the list is Java. Java is an object oriented programming language that has been around for decades. It is used for everything from enterprise software development to building large scale web applications. Let's look at the number of active job openings for Java developers in January 2020. On Glassdoor, this number was close to 60,000. On Indeed, this number was 61,000. And on Simply Hired, this number was over 40,000. Now Glassdoor says a typical Java developer makes almost $80,000 a year in the US. Similarly, this number is more than $107,000 if you ask Indeed. Almost 21% of all job openings on Indeed in 2019 were for Java developers. And this curve of the percentage popularity of Java in terms of the number of developers that are required has remained stable for the last five years. Now the reason why Java is so popular is because it is platform independent. You, any application you write in Java can be deployed on Linux server, on Windows server, or any other server. And this is one of the reasons why big companies especially, they like to invest on Java. They have always done this and they are going to continue to invest in this programming language. Another reason why Java is popular is because of its maturity. It's been around for such a long time that the popular uh, frameworks, libraries and the ecosystem around Java has gotten a lot of uh, in feedback and improvements over time. So it is a time tested programming language that has a, a good ecosystem and that is considered to be reliable by the world's biggest companies. Now moving on to the last programming language or the number one programming language to learn in 2021. You must have guessed it by now, it's Python. Python is an interpreted and easy to learn and use programming language that finds use in, uh, in almost every field of web development, machine learning, data science, you name it. It is also one of the most popular programming language for teaching programming in uh, colleges in the US. It is also catching up everywhere else in the world as the first programming language that someone learns. If you look at the number of active job openings for Python developers on different hiring platforms, this number was more than 71,000 on Indeed and Glassdoor. Similarly, Simply Hire had more than 51,000 job openings for Python developers in January of 2020. According to Glassdoor, the average salary of a Python developer in the US is more than 76,000 and this number is approximately 98,000 if you ask Indeed. 18% of all job openings on Indeed in 2019 were for Python developers. Uh, now from 20, 2019 to 2021, I am sure that this number must have increased a lot. Now why Python is so popular? Uh, I'm getting tired of answering this question. Python is so easy to learn. Well written Python code looks a lot like human readable language and it is very versatile. So something that's easy and also versatile and finds its use in so many different fields like machine learning, data science, web development, you name it. Obviously a lot of programmers are going to be attracted to it and that is the reason why Python has become so popular. Now, uh, I hope this video did not confuse you because you know all these five programming languages, uh, they have, I showed you the curves for the demand uh, in terms of job openings in the last five years and they are all very stable. It goes on to show that all these five programming languages are very safe in terms of choosing them for your career because they have a lot of demand and consistent demand and uh, there are a lot of open job openings for these programming languages. So if you want to be on the safe side, then yes, it is always better to choose these popular programming languages. However, also keep an eye on uh, you know, domain specific programming languages like Rust and Go that are really rising. They might be in the list pretty much soon. All the programming languages I talked about today have a lot of community support, great documentation, amazing tutorials on the internet, and also a rich ecosystem of libraries and frameworks. They are very stable and the job openings for these programming languages have remained stable or grown in the last five years and that is why we have included them in this list. So if you're choosing any one of these programming languages, you can rest assured that there is a job waiting for you but you still need to focus on the basics. You need to make your effort to make sure that if you need to learn a new programming language, you should not feel that you are starting from scratch. Focus on the basics, focus on the concepts and I'll see you in the next one.